Today I want to work with collage art again. You remember this guy? This collage art was made in three different settings. I'll put up a link of the last video, which is the final result. So I want to make a companion piece to this, so the same format. It's going to be also musical theme and I'm going to use the same technique. Usually what takes me the longest is the drawing part because I'm not a super fast illustrator. So I'm gonna keep things very loose on the drawing part. I'm gonna focus on the underpainting, the collage part with like the color palette and the general composition. Let's get to work. For this collage, I'm using a canvas board 10 by 10. I've used thick paper in the past for collage art, but it warps and it's less durable. So from now on, I've decided to use canvas board. It's a perfect surface. This was my reference image and from there I sketched this. It's a rough sketch. The red lines that you see is like mistakes that I'm correcting. Now I have to do a few more steps in order to get this to the final drawing ready to cut out. But I'm going to link the video where I show you all the detailed steps at the very end of this video if you want to know. Here is the background. So I created a gradient and I didn't use scissors to cut out the pieces to not have sharp edges. And I tried creating an abstract background with a certain gradient of colors. This is a photo of David and I took it out of one of David's album, an album we launched in 2015. Now I will overlay the guitar and see what it gives. At this stage, I've cut out all the overlay, uh, the guitar, the hand and all that stuff. So I've cut it out in different pieces and I have many options offered to me as to what I want to peek through from the background. So this was my original sketch, which I've kind of redone. And this is the cutout that I'm using to overlay. And I've cut out every single pieces that I possibly want to glue or take off. And there are many possibilities. What to keep and what to remove. And I want to do something a little bit different. David is a very inspiring person. 
He's super talented, super, super smart. He plays many musical instruments. He can record himself. He's a, an amazing singer, an amazing songwriter. He has a slew of other talents. Like he's a math genius on top of everything. Anyways, I feel like I'm a very lucky person to know him and to be with him and live with him. So he's very inspiring to me. His music is present in my mind and in my heart whenever I create. So I want to have his input on this piece. I don't know if he's up for it, but he's downstairs right now. I'm gonna ask him to come in and decide what he wants to have as a final composition. He's gonna make the choice and then I'll finalize the drawing at the very end and you'll see the result. So I'm gonna go ask him. I don't know. Lennox is following. Hi David. So you're on the vlog because I need your input. Okay. You wanna come and follow me? Sure. Okay. So I've been telling the vlog a bunch of things about you. A bunch of good things. Okay. Basically, I want you to finish this piece for me. It's not going to be complicated, but it's kind of like inspired by you. So I want you to decide the final configuration. And then once you decide, I'm going to finish the piece. Okay. You want to? My hand's going to get dirty. No, no, no. Yeah. You just have to decide. I'll show you. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi. You guys are so cute! <laughs> so you're all done? I'm all done. You picked the one. I picked the one. Okay! Thank you guys! You gonna show it later? I suppose? Yeah, I'll show you when it's done. Okay. Bye guys! Bye. The piece is finally done. I'm really, really happy with the result. I think David picked a really great configuration. Let's take a look. So cutting out the sound hole was the choice that I would have made, obviously, because his portrait is right there. And he decided to go asymmetrical. So keeping this part of the guitar and removing the pick guard and this side here and doing the opposite up top. I think it's clever and it's really, really nice. I added a graphite contour line for the hand. I used a punch hole for this and I used some red thread for the guitar strings. I really love the composition. I like the way it ended up. I like that it's about something that is very meaningful to me. At this stage, I could come in and work this here. I could put some texture or some kind of pattern if I wanted to tone the hand, if I wanted to, or just work this piece. I mean, I could work the white parts of the paper, but I'm happy with the result for now. And I want to let it simmer for a few days and see how I feel if I want to go further with it to add more texture or if I leave it like this. It's something that I have to kind of ponder and decide kind of later on. But for now, I'm really, really happy with the result. Let's look at those two pieces together, see how they meld together. I think they go really well together. I would probably add some detail around the sound hole here, put like a dainty pattern or some kind of embellishment maybe in this part of the guitar, but I would keep it minimal if ever I do anything with it. 
I love that the green and the red is kind of repeated. Let me know if you have a favorite. Do you like the piano that I did a few days ago or the guitar, the one that I did today? I don't know if I have a favorite. I don't think I have a favorite today. I think I have to let it simmer and maybe I'll have a favorite in a few days right now. I don't know. All I know is that they both would make a really amazing album cover. I'll meet you in the comment section and I'll see you tomorrow.